Hello, St. Martin. The Integrity Chamber is hereby presenting you with its third video series. My name is Amanda Brown, and I am a policy advisor at the Integrity Chamber. And my name is Charlesia Joseph, the communication officer at the Integrity Chamber. The theme of this new series is civic participation and the democratic system. The goal of this series is to inform the public on their rights and responsibilities as citizens of a democratic society, with the aim of empowering the people to do their part and contribute to the integrity of the democratic system in St. Martin. The 2024 parliamentary elections gave the people of St. Martin the opportunity to perform one of their civic duties by participating with their vote. However, there are more ways in which a citizen can participate in the governing of the country, such as through petitions or a civil society organization. You might be aware of the roles of the governor, the ministers, and the members of parliament. But did you know that the citizens have a crucial role to play in the proper functioning of our democratic system even after elections? Are you aware of the resources available for the citizens to hold government accountable once elected? We will discuss all of this and more in this series. As always, we've decided to include the valuable opinions of the people to find out what the public believes is their responsibility as citizens of a democratic society. Let's see what the people have to say. I think that civic participation is important for two main reasons. One, it gives us a voice to talk to our government, whether directly or indirectly. It allows us to tell, us, to tell them what we like or don't like that they're doing in that moment. Two, it gives us an opportunity to pick up slack where our government may be lacking. Um, it allows us the opportunity to not rely on the government, but rather help ourselves to make our communities better. Civic participation is very important. If I've taken the time to invest in skills in myself where I can serve my community, shouldn't I invest time into making the environment better for all? You see, if I attend community meetings, I'm able to put forth ideas that can help the community. By volunteering, I help to raise the living standards of my community members. And when I vote, I'm able to help enact policies that will benefit the community as a whole. When I participate, the community wins, we all win. Your civic participation is important because it's, you know, part of your democratic right. It makes sure that you are participating in the process of selecting your leaders and also being able to hold those same leaders accountable. So that's why I believe, you know, your civic participation is very, very important. Civic participation is important because ultimately you have a say in the direction that you want your island to go in, as well as the type of future you want for your children. It also creates a sense of responsibility for the well-being and contribution to your island, as well as holding your community leaders accountable. The interviews have revealed a variety of perspectives on the responsibility of residents in the democratic society. One thing we can all agree on is that the people have an important role to play in St. Martin by supporting our progress. In this video series, we will discuss how democracy works, the role of civic participation, and the ways in which the people of St. Martin can contribute to the integrity of the democratic system. Stay tuned for the next video in the Integrity Chamber's new video series, Civic Participation and the Democratic System.